I'm Sergeant Major Amanda Jury, and I am an oboist with the United States Army Band, Persian Zone. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the proper way to assemble an oboe. First, you want to make sure your case is on a flat surface for stability. And you'll notice on the latch locks, there are two circles, and that should be on the bottom half of the case. There are three joints to the oboe. This is the top joint. This is the middle joint. And this is the bottom joint referred to as the bell. Now on most oboes, you will find what we call tenon cap covers. This is the tenon of the instrument and it has a fragile layer of cork. So it often comes with a cover to protect that cork when it's in the case. So we want to start with the middle joint. We will take off our tenon cap cover and the bell of the instrument. Now you wanna make sure your hands are gently placed over the keys of the middle joint. You never want to squeeze the instrument because it could damage the rods and the screws and that could lead to a costly repair. So always place your hand gently. The instrument should go in with fairly little resistance. If you find that it doesn't go in smoothly and that there's too much resistance, never force it by squeezing your hands. You can simply put a little bit of cork grease on the tenon and you can get cork grease at any music supply shop. You just apply a little bit to the cork and that should help ease it into the other joint without forcing and squeezing. So we just slide it in and make sure that these two joints here line up properly. If they do not line up properly, it will not allow all of the keys to engage at the same time. Next, we move on to our top joint. We take off our cap cover. And again, we wanna have the instrument in one hand, fingers over the keys without squeezing, we take the other joint and place it gently in there. You put your finger on the top where there are no keys and add a little bit of pressure. And it should slide together smoothly. Now, again, there are two joints on this side and two joints on this side that must line up in order for the keys to properly engage throughout the entire instrument. Once we have our instrument assembled, the last thing that you need is your oboe reed. Reeds are stored in cases because they are fragile. So we pick our reed. And again, the cork should be able to go in with relative ease. If it does not, you can apply some cork grease to the reed as well. It goes into the reed well and it needs to be placed all the way down until it can't go any further. And you wanna have the flat surface of the reed line up parallel with the front side of the oboe, with the keys. You do not want it to be crooked off to the side. We want the flat surface of the reed lined up with the keys. And once you have that, you're ready to play.